Alright guys, today I'm going to do a video on my Galaxy Note 3. This is Verizon variant. I haven't done anything on this in a little while. I figured I'd show you guys a new ROM. So we're going to install HyperDrive ROM today. Um, so two things I'm going to go over, some quick re prerequisites for this thing before we get into the install of it and showing you guys the ROM. So let's go ahead and get into that. So first though, we're going to go into settings. And I'm going to show you in about phone what we're running. And what I want to show you that's important right here is the build. This is, my phone right now is on the build MJ7. Now, you probably could install this on the older build, which is I think MI9, but not sure if it'll function fully or not. What I'd recommend is going ahead and restoring your, updating your firmware to the MJ9, going ahead and getting root access with Kingo app or Kingo program, and installing SafeStrap. So, let me go ahead and show you that. That's the other prerequisite we got, which is going to be having Safe Strap installed. Now I'm on a custom ROM right here, so you won't be able to see Safe Strap, but it is installed. So you got to have root access, Safe Strap, and the ROM already on your phone. Uh, mine is on here already. Let's go to external SD ROM, and right there it is, HyperDrive, and that is RLS3. It's the HyperDrive version. So that's everything we got. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the device. If I can hold the right button there. Restart. And just a normal restart. Now, this is going to come up with the safe strap screen here. And you're going to want to push the menu button to get into recovery. It should be right down here on the bottom. You are going to see this anytime you have safe strap or any of that stuff, root access. It's going to come up with this custom logo. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's really not an issue. It doesn't void your warranty or anything like that. So, recovery. Um, obviously, if you want to do this under warranty, though, you know, you'd want to restore it to the normal firmware and not leave this custom stuff on there. All right, so that should boot us into recovery. I hit the menu button on the screen. Let's see if we can get Safe Strap Recovery booted up. Here it is. And um, just so I can explain to you what I've got going on on my device right now, I'll go into boot. And right now on ROM slot 1 right there, I have Beans Build, which is a really cool ROM. That's the ROM you just saw me running. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate another ROM slot. And I'm going to make it pretty good size partitions. You can see I have 17 gigs of free space still. So, you know, you can have multiple ROMs like this if you want. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with 600 megabytes of cache partition size. And my system I'm going to make a little bit bigger too. There we go. So I'm using... Yeah, 6.4 gigs of space on this ROM slot um, to create this ROM slot. So let's go ahead and create it. And you can install it on, a, on stock slot 1 or whatever you want to do it. I'm just doing this because I want to have multiple ROMs on my device because it's fun to switch between them and check out what's going on on multiple ROMs with multiple developers. They do different cool stuff to their uh, ROMs. So we're going to let this create. Probably going to take mm, 10 minutes for this thing to run through. We'll come back to it. Alright, so our ROM slot is created, and I'm just going to click on it because it's called ROM slot 2 right now. And I'm going to set a nickname, and I'm just going to call it Hyper, just because that makes sense for me. Call it whatever you want, but since I'm installing HyperDrive, we're just going to call it Hyper. Go back, and you can see it's called Hyper. It says it's on ROM slot 2. We're activated. So from here, we can install our ROM. Normally, you do um, wipes. You go in here and you do a wipe, but this is all brand new ROM slot, so you don't need to do that. If you're installing it over top of another ROM, you would want to do that. And also, if you're installing it over another top of another ROM, I would recommend making an Android backup. But because we have multiple ROM slots in here, I really don't have to, which is the beauty of SafeStrap. So, we're going to go right to Installs. And we're going to go to... Oh, no, I actually, actually think I want that other one. Yeah, it says here. So, ROMs. Click on the ROM. Make sure it's listed. Go ahead, slide across to install. Um, now, creating my ROM slide actually only took about three minutes. It really wasn't too long. It was kind of nice about that. Installing this right here um, shouldn't also take too long. Uh, normally, HyperDrive is installed with what's called a Roma installer, but I don't think it functions with SayStrap, so I think it's just going to run through and do a, a base install of the ROM, and then we'll be able to boot it up. So let's let this run through, and we'll come back to it when it's done flashing this ROM. Okay, the uh, install is finished. You can go ahead and unlock the screen by just swiping across and you can see everything says it's done 
it does actually give you some information right here which is actually really nice that he actually puts it right on the install screen it says note first boot takes uh, longer than normal basically it could take anywhere from five to ten minutes and then let the phone just sit there for a little while after it first boots and then reboot it and then it should everything should be functioning so we're gonna go ahead and do the first reboot and see what kind of a hyperdrive a boot animation this thing's got obviously you're gonna see the custom right there you're gonna see safe strap should be in green and then from there we're gonna see our first boot animation on this device so again like I said first boot let it boot then let the phone just sit don't even mess with really anything go ahead and maybe do your setup on it um, you know make sure you got to be your Google account set up then just let this thing sit for about 10 minutes um, and then do a reboot and then after the reboot the thing will be really pretty much set and ready to rock and roll okay so <laughs> nice I dig this this is really cool it's kinda like a Windows is starting up or something in it and it checks everything for you I, mean, I don't know if it's actually technically even checking anything here but it's still a really cool looking animation. I, I kind of dig it when it comes to comes to this. Just a little something different than you would see on any of the other you know normal boot animations like a Nexus device or anything, Motorola, whatever, Samsung. Alright, so we're going to let this boot up here. Um, it says beginning Android boot sequence. Let it boot up. Once we boot it up, I'm going to go through my stuff and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's actually kind of interesting. It didn't actually even have you do the... Um, normal like setup stuff you do for setting up your Google account and all that it just instantly went right into this um, a little bit interesting here on how that functions so um, we're gonna go ahead and hit OK and you can just see what's going on in here and there it is all there now I did see something and I think this is kinda of funky I don't know if you, you guys you guys see this yeah security setup what is this thing here Okay, so it's it set up your lock screen. Um, I guess you can get rid of this little lock up here in the corner by flashing an existing uh, link in the XDA post, which I'm going to give it to you to show you where this is all at. Um, I guess that can get removed, that little padlock. I didn't actually flash it. I didn't really know what it was. I thought it was a little interesting, but you can flash it. Like I said, you'll see that in the video description, the link to that and where those files are and everything you need. Um, but so here it is. Um, I'm going to let this thing sit. It actually booted straight to this, but I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes and do a reboot. And we'll come back to it once I do that and I'll go through the whole thing and show it to you. Alright, so i got to show you guys this because I was like, what is going on with this ROM? So I went to shut this thing off and uh, there's no, you can't shut it off. There's no power button. You probably have to have like a long hold on it or something and then it would shut it off. So I was like, that's messed up. So let me just show you the that's just funny it's not set up default like that but let me just show you this really quick and maybe flashing another zip would actually fix this but if you go into settings you go to hyperdrive tweaks system expanded power menu turn on those two right there on actually torch because I think it's cool and back back out of this all now if you uh, power it off there you go you can turn on your torch or you can power off and restart so just so you guys know where that's at that's how you're going to get your uh, restarts and everything like that. Alright, so we rebooted. That reboot was actually really, really quick. Um, not near how long the other one was. Alright, so now we're going to go through the, the ROM. We're going to show you the goodies in it, the beauties of it, the coolness and all that of HyperDrive ROM. So you can see, just scrolling through the screens, this looks like pretty much exactly stock besides these two um, apps right there on the home screen. Um, we're going to go through the app drawer really quick. You can see you've got folders with your Google stuff in them, Samsung, tools, and then so on. So looking through here, two things that I'm seeing that look a little different to me, or a couple things here, are obviously the HyperDrive Hub, HyperDrive Tweaks, Pop-Up Browser, Super Users, um, Torch, and then Mobile Hots, but I think that looks either a different icon or that's also added. Um, Viper Audio right there. Here's another camera, ES File Explorer, my absolute favorite file explorer. I like that that's in there. Google Keyboard is also in there as well. So those are some nice uh, features. Then we can go over to widgets really quick. Just kind of scroll through here really quick. There's a link to um, root file browser right there. Um, okay, so it does, it does come with Icon Changer in it, which is a really nice little application too. Um, and I have a video specifically on this application, actually, if you want to check it out. Maybe I'll link it in the video description for you. Um, pen Window Launcher. That's a little new thing. System Control Widget. 
and see what else. Anything else new? Nope, that looks looks pretty uh, pretty good from there. So there you go for your app drawer. Let's go and see what we got up here. Settings, different, nothing too new there. Here we go, same kind of stuff. Um, nothing too different in there. Also from stock. So, but to show you these two apps, you can launch them here, or if you go into settings, you can also see them right here, custom. So when it comes to settings, back out really quick. When it comes to settings and all this, you do have call and message blocking right there built in. That's pretty sweet. Obviously, here's power save mode. I like to have that on a lot of time. I'll turn off right now, though. Um, security, one hand operation. It's been okay. So the rest of this all looks pretty standard. Again, I'm just going to show you the build we're on. Actually, that's actually cool. I've not seen that in there before, where there's actually like something highlighted like that. Um, that's that's pretty cool. I think, let's see, is that a link to something? Yeah, it'll link you to probably his website or something like that. Donation link. These guys do awesome work for our devices when it comes to this donation link. Please, guys, really, seriously, these guys do all kinds of work on this thing. They don't get paid anything for doing it, and it just makes these devices awesome. Please, please, donate to these guys. This, this, these, these developers are really, really nice and do awesome work on these devices. So right here you go. There's that MJ7 build. You can see that. Um, 4.3 jelly bean and you know so on all right so let's go back to the customization because this is really what this whole ROM is about right here and the fun stuff you can do with it so we're gonna go into tweaks and I'm just show you, you have this stuff which is about and again donation links things like that you have all of these which are all the fun customization tweaks you can see it's called tweaks right there that you can do on your device and it is just tons of it play with them they're really fun um, and then if you go over again you have some advanced things like wiping battery stash cache delvet cache mounting your system zip aligning apks fixing permissions so let's just go into this one really quick which is system so there's where I did that expanded uh, power menu and you have Pi controls a couple different things some animations on turning your device on and off the screen animation um, user interface so it should be in here somewhere. These are some exposed modules. I'm not going to really go into that one too much. Um, let's see, where are we at? Exposed boot animations, alarm icons, network speed. So you can do that's that's that one up there on the top. You see it up there? Turns that on and off. Um, these exposed modules are pretty good. There's some, I have a whole video on exposed if you guys want to look at that stuff. Here's some audio things. Toolbox. So phone information, super user permissions, performance controls for the uh, processor and stuff like that. Let's see. Some of this may not be 100% just because this is running safe strap and it's a little harder to do things than when you haven't unlocked the bootloader. Um, let's see what else we got. So yeah, toolbox. Here's the exposed. If you're going to install any of this stuff, this is how you'd go through it and get all the exposed stuff running. So anyway, I'm not going to go through too much more of that one. Let's go do the hub. And what's nice about here is you can download OTA updates basically for this thing, just like you can on a stocks, stock system. Right there is where you check for those. You can do a lot of themes and stuff and go ahead and download those and, and apply them. Toggles, keyboards, fonts, colors, add-ons, it's all right here. Um, through the hyperdrive hub So there you go guys. That's pretty much a good overcap of how this ROM functions and some of the goodies you can do on it I uh, hope you guys like this little review on hyperdrive a uh, huge props to the developer on this This thing is radically awesome gotta love it for the galaxy note 3 Hope you guys like this video as always root junkie out